Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And Verizon made a very aggressive announcement this morning, and it kind of overshadowed this announcement. So Verizon right now is in a stage where they are getting very aggressive against their competition. And the competition, of course, that's AT&T and T-Mobile. Until Dish enters, we now only have three carriers. And it seems before they allow T-Mobile to make any big moves under the new T-Mobile, Verizon decided to become a leader in the industry and force competition. So we heard this morning that they are going to bundle in the Disney Plus bundle. So that includes Disney Plus, Hulu, and um, ESPN Plus. But also at the same time, they made an announcement that they are going to focus a lot more on fiber builds in the hottest markets. So right now that is roughly around the top 50 to 60 markets. He said, the SVP said that they are pushing very heavily with investments in those markets. So if some of you are familiar, if you are a wireless operator and you have to operate through a third party to put out your fiber, it is very expensive, especially now since we're getting to the five gig, 10 gigs on the millimeter wave, the third party is going to charge a lot more money than the carriers are willing to pay. And in some cases, the third parties like a Spectrum or Charter, they can't even open up their pipes to 10 gigs. So it is in the best interest of the carriers to roll out their own fiber. Now, of course, this is going to be a revenue loss for the third parties, but at the same time, it's their own fault. They didn't keep up with the times. They just started charging too much. So I think it's a good thing that Verizon is rolling out their own fiber. We know AT&T has been doing, doing that also. T-Mobile, not so much. They're still using third party, but we could potentially see something like that happening in the future for T-Mobile. But right now, they're just too cash strapped to make any of these kinds of moves. So, team, I mean, Verizon would like this to go beyond just the 50, 60 markets that they're planning right now. They would like their own fiber on the nationwide footprint, which is very understandable because they, they are really the carrier to push millimeter wave to what, you know, to a standard as we know it today. If it wasn't for Verizon, nobody else would really be pushing millimeter wave to those limits. So we're seeing better reachability on millimeter wave, faster speeds now. And that's because of Verizon. Nobody has put enough research and development, in my opinion, into the technology to push it like Verizon. And for that matter, the other two are likely to be behind to have a similar performance on millimeter wave they'll get there eventually but for now they will be behind because this is really the technology that verizon is pushing so verizon in the future is not going to have an issue on the streaming so much and i'll make another recap video on the announcement this morning as well there's some other things that i wanted to cover on that but it's it's a very interesting concept what Verizon is doing here. Um, people are saying now that Verizon is or could be considered the new uncarrier. This is a industry shocking move, and I am myself waiting to see how other the other carriers respond, or if they even can respond. Remember, AT and T really doesn't want to do third party deals because they have their own content to push. Why are they going to push somebody else's content if they have their own where they can actually make revenue from it and not have to pay for it to be on the platform? So that's one thing. T-Mobile is likely cash strapped. They're dealing with their own finances. They got the network to integrate. They got they got stores to remodel. I mean, they're they're just dealing with a bunch of stuff on their end. So Verizon right now is they're putting themselves in a very, very, very good position in the wireless industry. Great value great network biggest network still and who you know who knows what else is to come we don't know right now they're they're showing you they're strong they're showing you their strong hand they got partnerships they got a great relationship with apple they got apple music another thing that i want to point out they also got the the apple news plus subscription i believe for like you get it free for six or 12 months so they're working with apple we don't know maybe Maybe when Apple releases, I believe what it's called is Apple One, where they put all of their services under one roof, 
I think maybe that could be discounted on Verizon or maybe even offered for free. They got Amazon. They got a good partnership with Amazon. They got a good partnership with Disney now. So we don't know, but they're they're building their fiber out right now. That's going to bring them revenue in the future. They, they um, publicly stated they are not going to expand their Fios footprint beyond where it is today. So they are going to, of course, use millimeter wave as home broadband, and they're going to make money back that way. But in order to do that, they got to aggressively roll out their own fiber footprint so they can push the speeds to that three, four, five gigabits per second to really offer the capacity to make that work. So again, let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is interesting? Do you think that Verizon needs to be pushing fiber? Should all carriers do it? I think that's a very interesting topic. So let me know in the comment section down below. I will leave the article in the description, of course, so you guys can check it out in its entirety. If you have been on the channel, you can go ahead and end the video now. But if you are new, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also, if you want to see more updates like this, make sure you hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload content. Also, follow the Twitter as well. I do post the videos on Twitter. So you guys have two platforms to get the notifications pushed in case one or the other is behind. And this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.